also watching his favourite Minecraft channel on YouTube. Good on you, little Timmy. Watching wholesome modded Minecraft content. What? What in the hell is this? Timmy! No! Timmy! Do watch that god second video! No, Timmy! No! I think it goes without saying that the internet has become a massive part of our daily lives now. Whether it's for socials, jobs, memes, videos about anime girl smell, it, it, it's all on the web. But of course, we can't forget about... No, I can't say that word. Pawn has gotten substantially more popular over the years, even more to this day. And the more popular it is, the more it's produced. And the more it's produced, the more people watch it. And the more people watch it, the more money the producers earn. And it's all just a cycle that's carried around by addiction. So, why? Pornography started back in 1995 by model Danny Ash, with the earliest website being simply sex.com. How do I know this? Just trust me. Since then, pornography has really gotten popular with adolescent men. Now, this was still the time where the drip edges of magazines to sell to other dudes who release them for later phase of the world, as the internet didn't have much of the websites that are available today at the time. By 2012, there would already be millions of pornographic websites available to anyone with Wi-Fi and the ability to type and spell. And yeah, even as early as the 2010s already began the juicy thumbnails, and poor naive little Next was curious enough to click on them. Now, onwards to thumbnails. Ah yes, good old clickbait. Clickbait is a term that is used to describe misleading titles or thumbnails intended to attract viewers. This may include exaggeration, lies, and of course, pornography. Over the years, clickbait has become more and more common on every social media platform, and it's only gotten more prevalent thanks to the pandemic. Pornography seems to be one of the more major parts of clickbait, especially on YouTube. I mean, just look up anime on the YouTube search bar and you already see some... Suggestive oh stuff. What concerns me the most is that not only do some adults click on these videos right away after seeing them, but there are children as well. I can guarantee you that in those videos with titles like Only click this if you're a boy With some edgy anime artist a thumbnail that at least 80% of the people watching those are children Like, ain't no way some grown ass dudes watch these videos There is nothing more vulnerable than a curious child on the internet Now this is where the impact of pornography really gets bad Like, worse than it generally is as the years went on, media have gradually become more common to sneak in or show lewd content. I'm looking at you, Twitch, you absolute clowns. Children always tend to want to satisfy to their curiosity and when they see these videos with explicit thumbnails, they'll be very intrigued to watch them. And because of how many children these channels have fooled, the more popular and, if monetized, rich they become. These have gotten so common to the point that just by searching something completely unrelated to pornography, let's say... Minecraft mods, you'll still be able to see or find references to it. Not only that, but there are also a lot of suspicious autofills on the YouTube search bar that even YouTube doesn't even want to bother looking into, and these can easily form views from unsuspecting kids. Some aren't even age restricted, damn it. <sighs> even the most purest of fandoms, the most interesting shows, aren't safe from the inevitability of porn. It's kinda just grown on the internet for the past couple of years and I guess it's just gonna stay like that, man. By the way, despite still not having an episode 2, The Amazing Digital Circles already has 4,763 results on Rule 34. How do I know this? Just trust me. So yeah, trying to find a solution to completely stop pornography will most likely be impossible due to the amount of consumption that men, women, and sadly even children these days are. Pornography will most likely always still remain as a major part of the internet, and will probably stay that way. Even the newest shows that get released into the internet will immediately be bombarded with thousands of lewd images. It's just sad seeing a lot of the children have their innocence taken away so early in their lives because of the exposure to the internet. I guess all we can do is find a way to protect ours. In summary, Pornpad. See you next time.